I'm here today at Doc Martin's boot room in Camden, and I'm going to do some arts and crafts with this fellow right here, Frank Carter. Hi. How you doing, bro? I'm great. What was your first tattoo that you ever got? It was three daggers on my arm. It's, it's long gone. I can't show you. I was going to say, did you actually like just yeah. get rid of that? Yeah, it's been it's been gone for a while. So. Okay. And what about the first tattoo you ever actually gave? Do you remember? Yeah, that one I've still got, unfortunately. Um, oh, you gave it to yourself? It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like on my leg at some start. You actually did draw a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> It looks, like a ham it looks like a hamburger. I told you I can't draw for shit. <laughs> it's wicked. I'm expecting big things from I like, you. No, don't, don't. It's... Sorry, what was, what was the first tattoo you gave? Um, it was a, uh, <laughs> it was just some stars on my legs, so yeah. I'm not showing you them, sorry. Okay. They're staying there. It's bad? It's terrible. I'm why still not, giving, I'm, over it? Um, because it just, getting tattoos hurts, and I think I just, <laughs> just couldn't really be. so many. Yeah, I, I'm definitely over it now. I'm still getting tattooed, but I just. I'd, I'd rather give them to people. Like, honestly, I got tattooed the other day by, by this guy, Duncan X, who's an incredible tattooer. And I remember sitting there just thinking, like, why do people do this? Like, why, does, why do I have a job doing this? Because it is so painful. It's just not... It's nothing about it is enjoyable to me. Like, and I'm, maybe that's just because it's like... And, you know, I mean, I'm sitting here preaching to the choir because you... Well, I have my ribs you know, done as well, and oh, that shit hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah, it's, I ain't even gonna lie. that isn't fun, uh, So obviously the Dot Martin boot that we're now drawing all over. Yeah. How iconic is it to you being a punk musician? I have like so much nostalgia for this boot. When I went to secondary school, yeah. uh, this is the boot that I asked my mum to get me. Like I was you like, I wanted to, to make a statement. Yeah, like in I black wanted, or white? yeah, in black, like the classic, this one that you this have. One. And it comes from here actually, from being here. Like like I said it like um, I've I've always like my dad brought me to Camden when I was really young and I remember just seeing punks sitting on the bridge and over the canal and it just like it left such a profound effect on me and I just really, I, I don't know, like I think, yeah, Doc Martens have always just been like, if you had them you were a bit of a bad man, do you know what I mean? You're when a you're bad young, man. When you're, when you're a youth, so that's what I wanted, like I just had to have them. So, so were you an artsy kid in school? I, try, I tried to go to art school and I dropped out to basically teach myself how to tattoo. Um, but yeah, like I always wanted to be, I always wanted to be an artist. I remember like foolishly, like when when I was really young, I did this painting of Tutankhamun's like death mask, okay. and I was so proud of it that I like got my mum to come in and see it at school. Like I was like, come in and see this thing, and she basically came in on the only day that I like I. I'd take my friend's shoe and throw it down a field when it was raining. <laughs> and so I just got in loads of trouble. Like, my mum, like, do you, know, you know when you're like, you're expecting, you're like, so you're expecting, expecting some back. praise and like you're expecting to have a good moment with your mum and she comes in and my teacher just bollocked me in front of her like, yeah, the drawing's nice, but your son's a little prick. Like, so yeah, that wasn't that a thing less, less than ideal. No, I was, pretty, I was pretty well behaved, to be honest. Like, it wasn't, there wasn't many people who would let me throw their shoes down the field. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, he let you? We didn't let me, but like, you know. Were you a bully, Frank? No, I wasn't. I got bullied relentlessly. Like, and maybe I was a bit of a bully. I don't know. It's hard to say, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, how important is art to your music? I think my music is like... The way I write lyrics is very... It's always been very visual, you know? Right. I try and paint a picture, like... Because art was, just came so naturally to me and music didn't. I can't play any instruments. I could barely sing, like, when I was younger, like... And then I learned to sing really, really well and then I hit puberty and I lost it all and then... And, but I really always just... I don't know, I've got a... I love performing, you know, I, li I like performing. So that, that to me is like, yeah, art is massively influential to my music. And when I, and when I write songs, I, I'm trying to paint a picture. I want to give someone a very clear image of what I'm trying to say, you know? Right. I'm looking forward to this show tonight. 
we're in a 60 cap venue yeah. and I've seen you perform at festivals countless yeah. times and all I thought about coming here was that you were going to be hanging off the ceiling I was wondering if there's going to be pipes up here is that what we're kind of expecting? My mum's got a photo above her fireplace of me jumping off of a rafter at Reading so that's you know they put in the they put in those things that anti climb bars after that and speaking of like festivals I mean mm. you're a regular um, what it's, it must be hard picking your favorite like I I'm really lucky that I've been able to play all of the best pretty much all of the best festivals in the world a couple of times you know we were really lucky we got to play Glastonbury last year that was really really special but I think the big one is, is I don't know, man. Like, I, I love Reading and Leeds. You know, like, I grew yeah. up going to that. I grew up going to that festival. It's always been really important to me. And um, so, yeah, for me, that was, that was always a really special one. Um, and every time I get to play there, I, I feel pretty blessed. You know? Is that the direction we're going in moving forward? Do we think that rock isn't going to be as prominent at these festivals and it's going to be grime focused because that's what kids are wanting to listen to more so? I don't know, I mean, grime is like having its moment for sure, but rock and roll is like, it'll never die, will it? It's, it's, it's been around for, for time and memorial, like it inspires a lot of music, you know? Like yeah. whether that's through fashion or through sound, like it's always been the thing that people go to when they need to step it up a little bit, you know? So yeah. I, think, I think rock will be here forever, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely harder for for rock bands now to like survive, the young rock bands to make a living because it's just, it isn't the sound at the moment, you know? Right. Um, and also like, to be honest with you, like it's, it's a different like type of person that's doing it. Like it's, um, you look at rock bands nowadays and like a lot of them are just like young middle class entitled pricks. Do you know what I mean? Then they don't really have, I, I feel like they don't really have much to say. They don't have the pain. The they, pain. No, they don't, well, the pain that they have, they've created themselves. Like, they don't really understand torture. They don't really understand suffering. They don't really understand, like, what it's like to have nothing. Do you know what I mean? So, they've, so the pain that they're talking about isn't, it's real, but it's real to them. And that's a very small percentage of the world. Like, yeah. whereas, like, I don't know, you take, like, punk rock used to be about the disenfranchised youth. You know, that was what it was about, the working class, like, it was a way to lay out the frustration of exactly. what's going on in the world. Exactly that. And I think that Grime does that like perfectly. It's like it's it's the zeitgeist, it's the spirit of the moment. I think I'm done with my boots. Yeah, they um, look great. They look I like that little Frank, I'm shit at art. Can you sign here? So this is why I'd like you to sign yeah, the boot. Perfect. Um I drew a rattlesnake. <laughs> that looks like an old sock. I think they'll definitely get Ninja Turtles. I don't know why you didn't do all of them. You should have smashed all of them on here. You've got enough Donatello, to do Leonardo, Leonardo and Michelangelo. I, you know, I could have done Splinter, Bebop and Rock City as well. You could have. Shredder. I appreciate so, it, man. It's always a pleasure. Thanks very much, man.